Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen, bringing everything that you need to know about customizing your Android phone. So if you are looking for the ultimate notification widget, then you have come to the right place. Today we'll be featuring the complete guide to Missed It and this is actually a fantastic app. If you're looking for a way of showing how many notifications you have, say for missed calls, WhatsApp, even Twitter notifications, this is the app for you. It can also be integrated into Nova Launcher, which is quite a handy thing if you just want to have an icon with how many notifications you have, and I'll be showing you exactly how to do both. So, welcome to the complete guide to Missed It. Let us begin with today's tutorial. Great, so here's our Missed It notification widget over here, and you might be thinking, well, what exactly notifications does it support? Well, anything that's, that you have on the top of your status bar that you receive as a notification can be displayed over here. So like you can see, you've got your WhatsApp, you've got your Twitter notifications, anything that can be seen at the top can be placed here. And like I said before, Mr. It also integrates with Nova Launcher very well. As you can see, I just have an icon there and it displays how many WhatsApps you have. So in this complete guide, I'll be showing you exactly how to recreate a widget like this and to get something looking like that on your Nova Launcher. So let us begin. Okay, great. So starting out, we're just going to hold down on the home screen and we're going to select widgets. Now, all you have to do is download and install the Misted widget. It's really simple to use. So we're just going to scroll down and there it is. It's a four by one. It only comes with one size, but you're still welcome to make it bigger or smaller. So here we've come up with our main screen here for all of our options that we're going to be configuring. So let's start from the top. As you can see, it's got the name, which is very important as if you're going to be adding in multiple misted widgets, then you're going to be needing this name function just to distinguish between each one of them. So let's start off with calling it a name. Let's call it something random MCS. Yeah, let's go OK. So there is your name defined like that. Next, we're going to be moving into our monitored elements. Now, this is very important as these are basically going to be the ones that your widget will be monitoring. So obviously if these are here, the, these are the ones will be displayed. And if you wanna add in more, you've got the little plus button at the top right here. So selecting that, we can see we've got quite a few options here. We've got our standard missed calls, unread messages, email, voicemail. But then the one that you really wanna look out for is the one called application. You're gonna be loading all your applications that, before, that you've got on your phone. As, as you can see, these are all the apps that can be monitored on Misted. And as you can see, it is quite a lot. So I'm just going to be doing something standard like let's go for WhatsApp, going to select it like that. And it has just import, imported it onto the monitored elements. Now there's quite a lot to this monitored element screen, as you can see if we hold down on an element. So it's got two options, we can either remove it or edit it. So obviously if you don't want to get rid of it, you're going to select remove, but we're going to go into edit. Now it's got your parameter, not too important, but what is important is your singular and plural. What this means is that how it's going to be displayed, say if you get one WhatsApp notification, it's going to say one WhatsApp notification. And if you get two, it's going to say two WhatsApp notifications with the plural like that. So if you want to change this, which I know a lot of people will want to do, you just select it and this will bring up your edited menu here. But now you want to keep in that percentage C because that's where your numerical value is going to go. So that helps if you say you want to have notifications and then your count after that, you can just put it the number in before. So it's, it's just easily editable. You can just erase it like that. So say if you just want to say W apostrophe, make something short like that and select OK. So that's for singular. You can do the same for plural. And there it is like that. Remember to always go OK. And if you like it again, you're going to select OK like that. So you want to be doing it for each one of these. So same goes for email, missed calls and unread messages. It's quite easy to set up and once you have it the way that you want it, you're always welcome to now rearrange them. Say if you want to have WhatsApp first, you just hold down on the little sidebar over here, the handles, and you can move it to the top just like that. So once you like it the way it is, you're going to select your back button. And next you'll be moving into your output format. Now this is quite important as when we go into customize, this is going to be how your notifications are going to be displayed within the widget. So as you can see, it's got WhatsApp NL. Now NL means new line. So with all of these, it's going to be one beneath each other. So if you don't want that, like the one that you, I showed you earlier, you want to get rid of that, you can just, like I said before, it's easy to edit just by erasing it like that. So if you want to add in a line, say something in between them, you're going to just say spacebar. 
and then align and then space and then you can just keep on doing that see where that parameter came in handy earlier is that now you know exactly what you'll be editing for each one of these so there they are all in one line don't worry if they move on to the next line as long as they don't say new line or that square brackets nl then they're all still going to be in one line here you're also welcome to add in your static text if you want so you can write in the beginning say you have and then have any whatsapp or you have so many missed calls just like that and once you got it the way you want it you're going to select ok and that is your output format customized now you're welcome to say show numbers as text so instead of having it the numerical value say one or two it'll actually spell it out for you it looks really cool something different on your home screen another one you want to take note of is show all so say if you don't want to have say if you've got no emails it will not show you that you got any emails but i always like to have it selected just in case so we're next going to move into appearance and this is where all the fun begins is now you can customize pretty much anything you want about all of these notifications starting at the top with our, all of our parameters and our static text these are the different styles that you can choose from so you're welcome to change your font remember if you're using uccw on your phone you've got your fonts folder if not you can just create one easily so if you've got a file explorer you just create a fonts folder and you paste all of your fonts into this folder remember they have to be ttf or otf so i like to go is go for my roboto and then for size it doesn't really matter you can always make it bigger or smaller case mode is cool because you can make it either all lowercase or uppercase just like that and then always bold italic and then this is pretty important if you have say if you've got zero notifications say if you've got no whatsapps then it's going to be one color but then if you have non-zero values so if you have more than one message then you can have it another color and even add in a blur effect so say if you don't want it to have a color at all or say it's semi-transparent you can change it like this make it gray but then if you want it non-zero you can make it say a full white make it fully trans fully, make it fully opaque and then select ok so that is for your numeric parameters now for your string parameters and your static text your static text is say text that won't be changing at all say if you write you have in front of all your notifications then that won't change but your st string parameters those will change when you say one whatsapp notification as opposed to notifications so that's going to be always changing so that's the difference between both of those then for your background you're welcome to add in a rounded corners and say a nice looking background but if you don't want to have a background at all make it completely minimal then you select show always or deselect it and then it will not have a background and then finally you can add in shadow to your widget just by like selecting show shadow and you can add in any of your shadows or different style of shadow that you want and then going back we're going to move into appearance and then going back we're going to go into our layout this is pretty cool one thing to take note of your horizontal alignment you can always say make it centered same goes for vertical alignment you can have top bottom center that's going to be within the widget so if you all want it in the center of the widget you'll select it like that or but you're welcome to change it to whatever you want as always you've got a rotation so you can also make it vertical make it along the side of your phone makes it look really cool you can just select it as a 90 degrees so it'll be rotated like that and then of course it's got your line separations as well as your margins but those are also not too important unless you want to get really technical an option that is really cool is tap to launch i always like to have that enabled so that say if you have a you do have a notification then when you select it i'll show it after creating this one you're going to select you're going to select the widget and then it'll bring up different options say if you want to open up one notification or another notification depending on how many you have another option that's pretty cool is wake up on notification so if your screen is off and it's on your desk then once you get a notification your screen will turn on displaying knowing that you have a notification this is quite a cool thing to have great so moving up into the top here we've got our select that our select button here so once you like it the way you want it you'll just say select and then it'll create the widget onto your home screen and then moving the side here this is our presets that we have created you're welcome to create your own preset but you have to select the tick first in order to do that and what's cool about these presets is that you can move between different launch and then always just apply one preset and then have it saved really comes in handy and then your options here is just if you want to cancel it or apply a preset but that like i said you have to select it first and then go into the app which i'll do right now so this is going to look a bit weird but we're just going to select the tick now it's going to create the widget for you and there it is like that as you can see it's a bit wide so you can make it a bit more narrow if you want 
as you can see it hasn't fit in everything but say if you want to edit that you just say you go back into your app as you can see there is our MCS one that I've created so you can change in whatever you want and then say you really really do enjoy it then you can go into your options and then say save as preset call it whatever you want and then just like that have your own saved preset so that, that's enough about the internal part of Mist it. If we just go back now, here's that one that I originally had. I saved it as a preset. So if we want to say select our widget, that tab to launch, see we've got two different notifications. So this is if you have more than one. But if you only have one, say one email and you select mail, it'll bring up your email just like that. It's really quick and handy and it's a real useful tool to use. So now it comes to the part, well, what if you don't really like all this text and you want to input it? import it onto an icon on your home screen well, that's very easy to do and it works really well with Nova Launcher Prime so if you hold down on your home screen settings and you go into your Nova Launcher menu here and you'll go to the option called unread counts now you do need Nova Prime for this but it's really worth it as it's really easy to do and it comes in real handy so as long as you turn it on and you go into your provider it's either got Tessa unread but now you can use Mistit. Why do you want to use Mistit? Well, Tesla Unread only does a few of them. Mistit does every single notification, as we'll see now. So you can change your styles, your positions of the badge. What's really cool is now when you hold down and say you go into your apps, and I add in the WhatsApp icon, there it is right there, and you can see how many notifications you have. So you don't have to stick to just having your missed calls, your messages, as well as your email. So thanks very much guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions about how Mistit works, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel or if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It would mean a lot to us. As well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.